we got another question from Sheila, who uh, basically posed uh, a problem that I think we all kind of feel in our guts, which is that, you know, America used to have a lot of engineers where the engineers actually made something. And it seems over the last 20 years, we've created more financial engineers that created financial products rather than engineers that actually contributed to building things that could have actually more user value. Um, I agree with Sheila. I, I think uh, the last decade we haven't seen the kind of innovation to focus on uh, manufacturing that we should. You know, America needs not only to create services, not only to create software, but we need to manufacture actual goods again. And I think there are models from around the world that we can learn from. Germany has high wages, you know, a, a very uh, uh, good worker training program, um, actually have higher taxes in many ways than America, but they've managed to maintain a very efficient manufacturing sector. I think we can learn from them in terms of both worker training, in terms of apprenticeship programs. I think we can learn in terms of trying to look at high value add manufacturing. And uh, what we can do from the federal government standpoint is both reform some of our worker training programs, but we also need to, as a federal government, get in the economic development game to assist states and localities on bringing jobs that have gone abroad back to this country, particularly manufacturing and technology-based jobs. Uh, I've got a legislation called the America Reinvests Act that uh, would add in a little extra federal government support for state and local economic development efforts that would insure jobs back into America, um, particularly those, as I mentioned, that are technology and manufacturing jobs. That has to be a higher priority. And uh, that combined with workforce training, that combined with a tax code change that actually promotes manufacturing, I think we can be the leading manufacturing country in the world in the 21st century, but it is going to take a greater commitment than we've made in recent years.